All right, we need to talk about this. If you don't want to be early for everything on Sunday or maybe Monday, don't forget, we changed the clocks this weekend. Yeah, we are saying goodbye to daylight saving time and hello to standard time. Our John Shumway is here with the things that you need to keep in mind, John. Yeah, and if you're thinking, wait a minute, I thought they got rid of that clock change business. Well, our elected leaders have tried repeatedly, but so far we are still changing our clocks twice a year. To get to daylight saving time each spring, we lose an hour's sleep. You know, spring forward, fall back. Well, the sleep experts applaud the fall change. When we're going back to really what is normal, um, this is a better time of the year for our body. It's a better time for our circadian rhythm. It's a better time for our health. Allegheny Health Network sleep specialist, Dr. Daniel Shade, says while we might change our clocks, our bodies still see and crave noon as noon. So when the sun rises earlier on Sunday and beyond. So now it's actually the sun is up when we get up and that makes us actually have a little bit more energy. And no one needs that energy more than the kids who right now are getting on the bus in the dark and will be in a bit more light come Monday. So Dr. Shade says be glad for the clock rollback. So we should all stay up an hour longer on Saturday night. No. No, what you should do is take advantage of this rare opportunity to get another hour of extra sleep if you can. Because Dr. Shade says we all need it. Most all of us are walking around with a sleep debt or a little bit of sleep deprivation. And this is the one opportunity where we actually get to try to get an extra hour of sleep. And on the other end of the day, he says, don't fight the impact of it getting darker earlier with a flood of artificial lighting. You know, I think kind of let the let uh, what nature is telling you that is it's getting dark. We should start to settle down and nest and think about going to sleep if we can. Yeah, and Dr. Shade says the change can bring on a bit of seasonal affect disorder, maybe a tinge of depression, but it shouldn't last. And if it does, you should consult your doctor. So how long does it take for people to get used to it? Not long, actually. Dr. Shade says most people will adapt. Some on the same day, others may take just a little bit longer, but on average, most kids and adults adjust within a few days. And don't forget, it's also time to change the batteries in your oh, yeah. smoke detector. Great reminder. Mm -hmm. I know for me, I always wait forever to change the clock in my car. That's oh, yeah, the last too. one to do. I'm driving around for like oh. at least a week. Uh, yes, yes, totally, because right. I always forget how to do it. Yes. I think that'd be automated by now, but oh, yeah. wow. They need to work on that. <laughs> All right, thanks, John.